it's annoying sometimes how those who take a scholarly route of learning about culture will treat those who haven't taken formal classes on this sort of thing as though they're stupid or as though they never think about some of these subjects. Just because someone doesn't use the same wording as you do doesn't mean that they've never thought about it. And if you're the type of person who can't think about something unless it is from a, a scholarly perspective, that is not open-minded. It's not even allowing yourself to really think. It's just like, well, no, you, you learn this stuff and you absorb and then you spout it out the same way as it came. Well, that's, uh, I don't know, to me that's kind of a waste. And it also makes some, some people very pretentious and very much, you know, will treat others like, well, you don't know anything about this subject because you never studied it. It's like telling some well-renowned musician who, who never formally took classes that uh, uh, they're not a real musician because they don't write sheet music, right? <laughs> some of the things that these sociology courses will teach are very basic stuff that people, I imagine, that most people don't even necessarily think of these things in words. They just, they'll see the patterns in society. It doesn't necessarily ha have words yet. Now, maybe, you know, you could help by showing them, a, you know, a way of wording it, but that's never the way that, it, that it's approached. It's always approached as if someone is too stupid to have ever thought about this stuff to begin with. Like, uh, how society, whoever is in the majority, whatever demographics in the majority, uh, most things that are around will gear most gear towards that majority, will be biased towards that majority. That just kind of goes without saying, but the way that uh, it gets worded is a white privilege. Well, if you know the way that people respond to that, then why do you continue to have to word it that way? Because you have to word it the right way, my sociology course said so, is essentially what it is. And if they haven't been t done that, they're like, well, I've studied these terms. Well, yay, congratulations for you, hip hip hooray. That doesn't mean that other people haven't been thinking about this stuff, okay? To me, it goes without saying. I mean, this is something I that I probably thought about in elementary school. I mean, um, those that are in the majority will have the most things biased and geared towards. That's just how it goes. You don't need to, you don't need a degree in, in sociology to know this. You don't have to jump on board some a larger ideology to know this. I think there are a lot more open-minded people out there than you would like to make people believe. I think there are a lot of people out there trying to be the best people they can, to try to be the most open-minded they can. And when you treat people as if they're, you know, little devils or something, I mean, uh, because they don't march lock and step with your ideology, how do you expect to win these people over? Well, you're not even trying. You're not trying to win these people over. You don't really care. You're quite satisfied with having an enemy to bitch at. <laughs>